Today in any supermarket we can easily buy a candy bar, a packet of coffee or strawberries. But in the near future, these and many other favorite and familiar products may disappear from our lives forever. In this video, we will tell you which foods and why will disappear from our diet in the first place. And if you're not yet subscribed to Mogul TV, then be sure to click on the red subscribe button and the bell next to it, so you'll always be aware of new interesting videos on our channel. Coffee If you can't wake up in the morning without a cup of aromatic coffee, you may soon be in big trouble. The coffee industry around the world is already experiencing bad times. There are not many areas in the world that are suitable for growing coffee beans. One of the main places is South America. That is where up to 90% of coffee plantations could disappear in a few decades. Climate and bees are the main causes. Climate change leads to changes in precipitation, and rising temperatures can also scare the bees. But if we're talking about coffee, what do bees have to do with it? The fact is that bees are directly involved in the pollination of coffee plantations, and because of the increase in temperature, many species of bees, intolerant to heat, may leave the areas where coffee grows. Yes, this does not mean that all coffee will disappear, because it does not only grow in South America, but economic laws will come into play here. Due to a sharp reduction in the product, its cost will increase greatly, and you yourself will decide to save and choose other drinks. Strawberry. I'm sure it's the favorite berry of many. Give it a like if it's true. We are used to buying strawberries in the supermarket today all year round, but, alas, this berry is highly dependent on weather conditions. In most regions of the world where strawberries are actively grown, average temperatures have risen greatly, and strawberries do not like very hot weather. Because of this, the flowering process is shortened and farmers end up with a much smaller crop. So, perhaps, due to global warming, in 10 or 20 years, you can only count on a couple of berries from your grandmother's garden. Chocolate. If you're not stocking up on chocolates yet, then it might be worth considering. Cocoa beans are the main ingredient for the production of chocolate. There are even fewer places in the world where cocoa beans can grow than areas for coffee plantations. The fact is that two factors are important for the growth of cocoa, the climate and specific soil. Both aspects suffer greatly due to climate and environmental problems. According to research by scientists, in the coming decades the price of chocolate will grow strongly, and in 40 years it may disappear altogether. Bananas Moderate temperature and plenty of water are important for ripening bananas. Recently, there have been difficulties with this on all plantations where bananas are grown. Yes, farmers began to use additional irrigation systems and slightly smoothed out the effect of global warming, but another problem appeared. The most popular variety of bananas was overtaken by a disease, which has not yet been able to cope with. It attacks the roots of plants, because of it banana plantations all over the planet die. A similar situation had already occurred in the 50s of the last century, then the so-called Panama disease caused the disappearance of almost all banana plantations in Central and South America. Then it was possible to cope with this disease, but no one guarantees that it will work again. Peanuts. There is a misconception that peanuts are an extremely unpretentious crop, but this is not true at all. If, for example, there is not enough rain, the nut will simply not ripen too much, a lot of rain, and the fruit will grow already rotten. Many areas where peanuts are grown have been hit by drought in recent years, a direct consequence of global warming. 
some experts are sure that peanuts will disappear in our lifetime, which is especially sad for Americans, because a peanut paste sandwich is a food on which more than one generation of schoolchildren from the United States grew up, surely many of you have noticed this in films and TV shows. Avocado. Proper nutrition has become fashionable around the world. Avocado is a fruit that, perhaps, personifies healthy food. Young people around the world are even called the avocado toast generation, but I have bad news. The avocado is a fruit that requires an enormous amount of water to mature, and there are big problems with this in the main regions where the crop is grown. In the coming years and decades, avocados will become seriously expensive, and given the cosmic prices of avocados in our stores today, very few people will be able to afford them in the future. Grapes for wine production There are about a thousand different varieties of grapes and only 10 or 15 of them are used to make most of the wine on the planet. According to studies, most of the places in which vineyards are located today will become too hot for growing grapes in the next 50 years, but there is hope that winemakers will adapt and begin to produce wine from other grape varieties or move vineyards to other territories. Honey I've already talked about what hurts the bees that pollinate coffee plantations. The same fate awaits those bees that produce honey. Their population has been declining rapidly in recent years due to disease, pesticides and, of course, climate change. It is logical that with a decrease in the number of bees, the amount of honey produced will also decrease, so enjoy while there is an opportunity. Soybeans. Soy is part of a large number of products that we consume. And for people who don't eat meat, it's just an indispensable source of protein. However, soybeans react extremely negatively to rising temperatures. According to scientists, in 50 years only half of the soybean crops will remain on the planet. Fruit with stone. Perhaps hearing that strawberries will disappear in the near future, many of you are not upset, because there will be cherries, peaches, apricots, plums, but these fruits with a stone are also very dependent on a stable temperature. With constant temperature jumps up and down, they simply die. Farmers involved in the cultivation of these crops are concerned that their harvest is decreasing every year, and the climate situation is only getting worse. Write in the comments about the disappearance of which of the products you will be saddest of all. Also put likes if you were interested in this video, subscribe to the channel and, of course, share this video with your friends.